What's up YouTube? Ian Sandusky back here again for Let's Machine. Today we're going to be going through a little project that, well, I guess not a project. This is a job that I'm doing for one of my customers on the wire machine. Now, before we get started here, guys, this is not going to be a super in-depth uh, wire EDM tutorial. So if you want those, they are, I do have some a master cam wire EDM tutorials here on my channel. Go find those if you want a more in-depth um, explanation of what I'm doing. I'm gonna go a little quickly through this, but this is just to illustrate an application of wire EDM on a part that we do. Um, again, as I say in a lot of my videos regarding wire EDM, I'm not an expert expert. I learned from a guy who learned from a guy who learned from a guy. So don't take this as gospel, but it works, it does things accurately, and it gets parts done. Secondly, this may not be the most uh, efficient application of a wire EDM, we have one, we've had the same machine, well, we've, this, I think this is our second machine, but we've had wire EDM here for you know over a decade. The thing has paid for itself multiple times over. We don't use it very much anymore for um, a lot, so it's not like I'm competing for time on it with anything. So I do tend to put jobs on it that probably could be done by a mill in some cases, but just for ease of setup, ease of use, um, less headaches, I do some things on the wire EDM just to get them done. So the part we're doing today, is this right here. This is a pivot pin for one of my customers who makes um, tractor parts and sod cutting machines. So what this does is it sits in here and something pivots in here when we put some holes through here later. So the process to make these is we start with uh, the external diameter, turn the one end just to face it off, turn the other, put the threads on it, put it in the mill and we mill those flats on there and then I hold it in the wire machine and wire cut this profile. And you can see there's some really little rods in there. I think they're under one, uh, under an eighth. So you'd have to use a one eighth cutter or something of the like, maybe even smaller, maybe three sixteenths to, uh, to be able to cut those out. It is a bit of a pain to do these. Um, We've tried doing them in the mill before. We can do them. It's just a lot of, you know, you can hog it out with a, a half inch and then go and clean up the rods and then put these flats on the sides. This is for a, uh, a nut. So a nut goes on this side and the head goes on the other so that it doesn't turn when you screw the screw through it. It automatically, essentially by design, holds it where it's supposed to be. Now, we don't do a lot of these. We don't do them very frequently. So the wire EDM is the way I tend to do them. You know, we do a dozen of them, maybe at a time, a couple times a year uh, for this customer. But if I was doing high, high quantities of them, I would probably find a way. We've had problems with them rocking or kicking up when you're milling them just because of the, the clamping force on there. So, you know, if we were doing a lot of them, I would find a different way to do them. But for what we're doing right now, the nice thing about wire EDM is there's zero cutting force. I put it in, I press a button after I have it all set up, walk away, come back and switch it out. It's easy. So that's the reason we do that. So first things first, we're gonna go to the computer. I'm gonna show you the program I use to do these in uh, Mastercam. I'm not gonna go step by step as much as I do in some of my other videos, but just so you can see how it's done. Then we're gonna set it up on the wire machine and run it. Okay, let's go take a look.
have it guys, that's how we do these little parts on the wire EDM. Next up for these, they get a hole put through here and a tapped hole on the other side. Oh no, it's just a hole through because uh, a nut goes on the other side there. But uh, after that, they go out the door, customer handles getting them plated and then they get installed on their machines. Um, I hope this has been helpful guys. Uh, you know, it's a bit of a challenge sometimes to want to go too slowly and show you guys stuff that you may have already seen before in other videos and go too quickly and just have a video that shows a machine running. So, you know, let me know what you think about the balance that way. If you want more machining, if you want more instructional, you know, I'm, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. So you can help me out by telling me in the comments what you want to see. Thank you very much for watching guys. Make sure you like and subscribe in the bottom if you want to see more videos. You guys have a great day. Take care.